Hello, I'm Penny Schilling. I want to talk about diabetes in dogs. Could I firstly ask you to subscribe to this channel so that I can provide you with more free dog health videos. We don't need to be complicated about this so let's make it simple. Canine diabetes is a common condition in dogs, and it cannot be cured. It is, however, manageable and it can be costly to treat. The good news is that when canine diabetes is managed properly, it can lead to happy and active dogs. The bad news is if it is left untreated, it can cause more serious health issues for dogs. Let's look at what canine diabetes is. Make no mistake, canine diabetes is an extremely serious condition that can lead to death without treatment. To fuel a body, human or animal, we need a sugar called glucose. Glucose is obtained by breaking down carbohydrates in the diet. There is a hormone that is created by the pancreas, it is called insulin. Cells in the body extract glucose from the blood with the help of insulin. To put it in simple terms, insulin extracts glucose from the blood. It becomes a problem when cells don't extract enough glucose. So that excess glucose builds up in the blood. Vital organs are soaked in too much sugary blood, and become damaged. This is diabetes. We know there is sugar in food, some is natural sugar, others are added to make it more palatable to dogs. When it comes to a normally healthy dog, sugars will be transported from their food into their stomach where eventually it goes into their blood and then called blood sugars. Putting it simply, a diabetic dog's body cannot control the levels of sugar in their blood. A dog with abnormally high levels of glucose in the blood is suffering from hyperglycemia. For a short period of time, many dogs can appear to cope. But sadly, they often become seriously ill if they acquire another illness. A typical example is a urine infection. Diabetic dogs are very prone to suffer from other health problems too. The vast majority of dogs with diabetes suffer from the type 1, in line with humans, the dog is unable to produce any insulin, so it will rely on insulin treatments for the rest of its life. There are rare occasions with type 2 diabetes that the dog's pancreas can produce some insulin, but certainly not enough, or indeed it doesn't respond to it effectively. Recognizing the signs if diabetes is obviously important. Look out for your dog peeing more than usual. This could be because the glucose is drawing water with it into its wee. Does your dog seem to be thirsty more often than usual? This is likely to be caused by the dog's body trying to keep up with the excess fluid loss due to peeing a lot. Have you noticed increased hunger? This is because the body thinks it's starving. Is your dog losing a lot of weight? The sugars in the dog's diet can't be used by their body if there's no insulin, instead they go into the urine as waste. So, the dog is no longer getting enough calories. Instead, the dog's body starts to break down the fat reserves, hence the weight loss. It is important that you consult your vet as soon as you notice these signs. Your vet may want to take a blood and urine test. If the results show elevated levels of glucose in the blood and urine, and of course your dog is showing the signs that I have just mentioned, then it is generally a clear sign that your dog has diabetes. Be mindful that increased glucose levels can occasionally occur due to stress. If your vet thinks this is the case, they may take tests to see fructosamine levels to see the average blood glucose level. This would be carried out over a number of weeks to detect if it's a persistent, or one-off problem. Once diabetes has been diagnosed, an insulin type will be decided by your vet. Then it will take time to establish the correct dose that works for your dog. Always follow your vet's instructions exactly, this will ensure your dog's insulin levels are regulated. It is important that you double-check you have the correct concentrations of insulin on the syringes. In addition, you may need to test your dog's blood glucose levels by taking a small swab of blood with a tiny pin prick. Again, your vet will give you good instructions and tutorials. 
Also, if your dog is dizzy or groggy because this could be a sign that the dog's blood sugar levels have dramatically dropped to a dangerously low level. On top of home observations your dog will need regular checkups to monitor their condition. Insulin isn't the be-all and end-all. In fact, a balanced diet can help enormously because it will regulate your dog's blood sugar levels. Take advice from your vet on what and how much to feed, as well as the timing of meals and injections. High-fiber diets are good. They are generally recommended for dogs with diabetes to help limit increases in blood sugar levels compared with a low-fiber diet. A word of warning, all those human tidbits, forget them. They should never be given because they can also affect the dog's glucose levels. It's not all doom and gloom. With the right medication, most diabetic dogs do lead happy and active lives. Yes, there are some health issues that they may be more prone to than dogs without the diabetes. Cataracts for example can be developed rather quickly because the blood sugars affect their eyes. Talk to your vet about the options of surgical correction. Although many dogs cope well with loss of sight, urinary tract infections may become a problem, because of the excess sugar in their wee, and it helps bacteria to breed. I hope you have found this information useful. Please click on the subscribe button so that I can keep you up to date with other dog health videos. Don't take my word for anything, please double check the facts and always. Always, seek professional veterinary advice. I'm sure you'll appreciate that I'm an avatar, not a vet, but every fact has come from proper solid research and can easily be verified should you wish. Remember, please subscribe.